माय यूट्यूब चैनल एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट वेटनरी साइंस और यू आर वन ऑफ द वेटनरी डॉक्टर एंड यू आर प्लानिंग टू माइग्रेट टू ऑस्ट्रेलिया सो मेनी ऑफ यू आर कमेंट अबाउट दिस रिगार्डिंग दिस वीडियो सो ऑन you know the on your comment based on your comment so i'm making this video that's why i always say just uh, leave a comment on which video uh, you want to uh, uh, make my make, make my from my side you know so my name is dr akram ahmed i did my bachelor's and masters from india and now i worked in malaysia as lecturer and here in australia i did phd and working as a medical scientist here so i have total 8 years experience so i always make videos for uh, health professionals So they are looking to uh, migrate to the other countries, especially. And I am here in Sydney, uh, Australia. So I always make videos. So uh, you can please subscribe my channel. So uh, I'm going to uh, make many new videos. Or uh, uh, almost 200 plus videos already uploaded uh, in this channel. So you can have a look the other videos that are there scope in uh, in Australia. If you are one of the health professional. so veterinary science again uh, if you did uh, in your country and you are planning to migrate to australia so what are the options you have so there is a alternate title is there uh, also called a uh, veterinary surgeon and uh, the, the mostly the work yeah, especially in the uh, australian perspective to diagnose and treat and prevent animal diseases ailments and injuries and you know there is a license required if you want to work if you want to practice in australia and there are some specialization also veterinary pet psychologist and pathologist if you want to make me a video on the specializations you can just leave a comment so i will make a new video so now we are just we will focus in this video is about regarding the veterinary science and what are the steps you have to take to migrate to australia and what are the current salary and what are the situation about uh, 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 this, if you are from the degree holder, so in this video, you know, are you qualified veterinarian? Yes, if you are, yes, and your age is forty-five under, like forty, especially um, under forty, and uh, you are fluent in English, means you have seven each year band in all like IELTS or TOEFL or OET, whatever your exam. So your age is forty plus. You are veterinarian, and English is seven, ten. Australia is is a good for you. You must try to come to Australia, um, and there is some reason I will discuss why. And then immigration to Australia could be an option for you, and keep uh, reading to find out. You know. Then in this video, I am going to discuss how do I immigrate. as a veterinarian how you can uh, uh, migrate to australia and do i meet the requirement then the what the requirement um, to migrate to australia and what the process i should follow and these are the question basically you always ask and this some of the question i took from the google you know, this kind of question do that on the search engine and what are the general uh, school migration visa uh, for veterinary science what are the current scenarios and job opportunities what are the salaries you know? so all this i am going to discuss about so i already told that i always make videos you know so you can follow me on facebook and instagram so i always if there is a job and especially if there is any um, information i just share there because i cannot make video each and each information uh i'm very busy basically you know so i just sometime whenever i got uh, time i just make videos so i almost upload on video on many country you know south africa uae saudi arabia oman australia us sweden canada germany ireland uk so many 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 more countries uh, apart from this you know and uh, if you want to get help from my side then i also provide some uh, kind of assistance so you can contact me on in, on this my whatsapp number so now we are focusing on this visa so basically in australia is called ansco ansco means they give a number for each occupation and based on occupation this every year um, this organization they make you know how many uh, people required you know and they are like forecasting they did some research you know so we can say that those are m uh, mlt ssl minimum आप सॉरी मीडियम एंड लॉन्ग टर्म स्ट्रेटेजिक स्किल लिस्ट इस इस लिस्ट में इफ योर नेम इज देयर देन इट मींस इट इज वेरी इजी फॉर यू टू गेट वीजा एंड सो इट करंटली 146 वन सॉरी 176 ऑक्यूपेशंस इन द लिस्ट एंड वेटनरी साइंस आल्सो वन ऑफ देम सो दिस इज वेरी गुड न्यूज़ बेसिकली एंड many occupations not in the list for example pharmacist pharmacist not uh, uh, in the uh, mltssl 
veterinary in the list so veterinary inside can can apply for any of the visa you know so if you want to know the general immigration uh, and the system especially what are the system to migrate to australia what are the points based system so if you know here so you can watch my this previous video so here there's a fast so there's some steps so i'm making just a step by step so you know what are the educational experience required so in Australia, uh, government they are approving if your qualification is five years, minimum five years veterinary science. You did bachelor degree any of your country around the world, and you want to migrate to Australia. This is the minimum requirement. And if you have some additional uh, experience, you know when, when basically if you are veterinary science, so there is some internship that uh, minimum six months must be there, and one year in India basically one year. So all Indians are eligible. Uh, but if you are from other country, so the the education plus the experience are needed uh, for the, if they are doing assessment for your degree. So first you have to go for assessment your degree, and and then you have to go for exam. Then you have to go apply for. It. And uh, the income is very good; is about ten thousand per month uh, salary in Australian dollar for for veterinarians. And uh, because you know Australians love to be happy uh, and like a pet, you know, dog, cat, those kind of things. So people are spending a lot of money uh, on this. You know, it's not like India. India also is a metro city, but not in the rural area. But here is everyone. You know, uh, most of the families uh, they have some pet, those kind of things. So so and another thing, if you see the Australia. Agriculture is like they have very uh, big, big farms and uh, like thousands of like cows, you know, and buffaloes and uh, chick, all those other things. So the veterinary and science graduates are need everywhere. I can say, you know, people are asking me that, uh, what is the scope, you know, uh, in health science, in you know, which degree will be the most valuable in terms of Australia? So I can say that number one is nurse, and number two, I can say the veterinary science is in need next to uh, next five or maybe in the ten years. You know, they require high, even high demand as compared to a medical doctor. You know, a veterinary science in Australia, veterinary science in, in agriculture also. You know, a lot of scope in Australia. So now we are going to discuss about the visa, which visa you can apply. And so uh, veterinary science, I can say is like, you know, very lucky guy. <laughs> All the visas are available for them. None of them like pharmacists, many visas are not, uh, they cannot apply, even few therapists cannot apply. But here they are, you know, uh, 189, very uh, good PR visa. You can apply, 190 you can apply. 190 basically a permanent uh, visa but it is for that particular state you have to work so a state will give you five points so sponsor you uh, sponsor you so for example if you have 75 points and five points given by the state now you have 80 points and now you can apply for your pr visa you know so if you have high point that's good for a 189 if you have low point and you can go 190 so both of them are a permanent uh, visa here you can see here and it will take like uh, nine months, 75 applications and less and less. So on another scenario is that if you have low points, if you have like say 65 or 70 points and still you can get this visa, then you can go for 491. 491 is a regional visa. This is, this is also sponsored by the state, particular state. You have to work and live in the regional area and they will give you 15 points. So if you have 70 points and 15 points given by the state, now you have 85 points, 85 points, you can get this uh, this PR visa, you know, and another permanent visa is here. If you are uh, looking a job and someone is sponsoring, they can sponsor your visa, so you can live permanently. Like one eight six visa is called that uh, uh, sponsored visa or uh, industry sponsored visa. Then four nine four also is a sponsored visa. This is in the regional area. One eight six anywhere uh, you can work and live. And then four eight two. This is work visa also. You can regional also work visa. So work visa, permanent uh, visa, this is for the uh, employer sponsored visa basically. This is a, uh, what it says is very good visa. So you can uh, live anywhere in Australia, any city, any, but if you want to go uh, 494, this is especially for the regional area you have to live. 491 also for regional area, you know, and this is um, 191 particular state, but 189 if you got, you can work anywhere, you know. So, so you must try to come to Australia and very good situation um, here, especially a good scope of for veterinary science. And these are the, some of the states, you know, um, Queensland here, New South Wales. So I'm here, New South Wales in Sydney, Sydney here, 
and Victoria. So most of the population are living in these two states, Victoria and New South Wales. And these are the very big state, but population is very, very low. So in this particular state, you know, just the birth are the little bit have the higher population or that's probably the small, small um, cities are just empty, you know, so you can work and live here. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I can say, uh, please subscribe my channel. So I always make videos for healthcare professionals. And if you want to make me a new, any other video, so and leave just comment if you have any questions, so I will give you an answer. And thank you for watching this video.